code can you find a rat's head in that coat cake? Folks, we've had too many rat's heads in our coat cake. And yes, there are different versions of coke. We've got new coke, we've got classic coke, we've got diet coke. We don't need to have a complete ivory soap level purity, 99 and 44, 100% pure, that we are all in lockstep agreement about. But we do have to unite around certain core principles. We have to unite around individual rights and responsibility, constitutional limited government, free enterprise system, upholding the rule of law. These are core Republican principles that resonate with Americans, that resonate with Colorados. And until we can consistently get that message out and remind people that the Republican brand actually stands for something, we don't have to throw our candidates out there to the wolves and, and have them sink or swim on their own. How many folks, you all seen Blazing Saddles, right? Yeah. The sheriff shows up and he gives a speech. And the preacher gets up there to give him support, gets the Bible shot out of his hand. He says, well, son, you're on your own. <laughs> That's been the message from the state party. <coughs> Our candidates have been on their own. They have not received that top-level support. They have not received that air cover from the, county, or from the state party. It's been sink or swim. And yeah, you know, we have limited resources. We're not saying that we're going to throw money at every, at every race, but for God's sake, we can certainly provide them some resources in terms of training, in terms of messaging, in terms of the overall theme, getting the word out, so they are not having to, to completely create a, a brand from scratch and fight for Republican votes that they should, that they should be coming to because Republicans stand for something. We've lost that. And too many people have been coming up to the candidates who are out, out there knocking on doors and they're saying, I'm a Republican, I'm running out, you guys are just like the other guys. Why should we vote for you? We don't trust you. We've lost that trust. And one thing we are seeing this last couple of years, the Tea Party movement, the grassroots movement stepping up, getting involved, citizens that have not been part of the party process, but understand that this is a matter of basic self-defense that we as citizens have got to get involved, get more active in that process. Well, we need to give those citizens a reason to vote Republican. We need to restore that trust, that integrity Rich spoke about at the beginning, and let people know, yes, we do stand for something. Yes, we do have your back. Yes, we will provide you the resources, not just money, but in terms of communication, in terms of access to information, that we should do as a state board. Let me get into a little bit of a detail. Um, I'm not going to give you a, a, a super detailed plan in a speech. It's probably not the appropriate form for that. But let me hit a, a couple of key points that we need to do. Number one, the next state party chair must take a strategic approach. We've got to have a plan. Now, is that plan going to be one guy coming up with it and saying, this is it? Take it or leave it, you guys all got to get in line. No, that's not how we do it. That's not how we do it in the military. It's a, it's, a, it's a process. But we have to have a plan. And not just for the coming election cycle. We have to set, our, set the conditions for victory in this election cycle and beyond. That is the role, I believe, of the state party and the state party chair, helping to set the conditions for victory and having a strategic approach to making that happen. Incredibly important. We need to have accountable leadership. You need to know that your leadership at all levels listens to you, take you seriously, and will take your input into account and give you feedback. And where leadership stumbles, they have to take responsibility for what we've not done correctly. We need to have a much better approach to our messaging. We blew a huge opportunity this last cycle when we failed to, to pick up a couple of core issues that would have helped every Republican running for office in this state. How many of you folks have had the dubious pleasure of registering your car a couple of times over the last couple of years? That car tax got everyone in this state incensed. Why didn't we message that? Why was that not, not, that not part of our theme? 
every demographic group across the state, rich, poor, young, old, northern Colorado, southern Colorado, pick your demographic group. Everyone was ticked off about that. And what did we do to help promote that, to help keep people focused? We would have helped every legislative candidate we had. As a state party, we did nothing. And because of that, we did not capture the state senate. Because of that, we barely captured the state house. That's important. Resource. Matt, I've got to cut you off. For right oh, we have to minutes. take 30 seconds. Okay. And just for the other candidates, I'll be a little better at this. And so when I stand up, you got about 30 seconds, okay? Got it. Go right ahead. Resourcing goes beyond fundraising. It includes making effective use of our resources. So I normally get like a little bit of a heads up so I know how much time I'm, I'm getting. My oversight. Uh, no problem. We've got to make available information resources, access to information networking. The, the state party chair should be facilitator in chief. Not the guy at the top of the hierarchy where everything flows up and nothing comes back down, but in the middle of the network, reaching out to our county offices, reaching out to affiliated groups like the Tea Party groups, grassroots organizations who want to get involved and want to help. And the state party chair has got to be a central point of contact for helping to coordinate different groups and putting different groups in touch with each other. This is coalition warfare, folks. We have got to get our allies <coughs> not giving them the, the Heisman stiff arm, but welcoming them in, letting people that share our common goals be part of the team. Because politics is a team sport. We've forgotten that. We've forgotten our brand. We've forgotten the way that, that we actually believe as Republicans in how to run operations and organizations. And we started to look like and act like Democrats. <gasps> yeah, exactly. Horrible. We can do better. We will do better. And that's why I'm running for state party chair. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your vote. We've got a bunch of great candidates. But I believe I am uniquely suited with my military background for planning and strategy. <laughs> and the fact that I have, alone of, of the folks up here, run a statewide campaign, gotten out, talked to people all across the state, worked with grassroots organizations, understand the second great awakening of American politics that is happening this year. We have got to take advantage of that. We cannot lose this window of opportunity that we have with grassroots people, regular citizens standing up and defending our country. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. And as we go through alphabetically, please, uh, please give a warm welcome to Bart Barrett. First, I'd like to thank Matt for having a last name starting with an A. Usually, it would mean something B. <laughs> okay. Background's a little bit different than that. Uh, I'll quickly give you a little snapshot. Uh, newspapers, industrial engineer, 40 years ago. Corporate VP and officer of the New York Stock Exchange Company, vice president of another New York Stock Exchange Company, both in the manufacturing sector. Okay. A little different skill set. I'd love to thank uh, Matt also for the segue. I'm planning. Uh, some of you probably have already had the opportunity to take a look at the plan that we put out there. If you haven't, there's a website, electrespect.com. It's up on that if you haven't gotten it already through email or through a direct mail. And there are changes. It's evolving. It's, not, it's a work in progress. Okay? But it does set the tone for what we have to do. To say it sets the tone, uh, how many of you have seen the movie Groundhog Day? I think we all have. Well, if you do the same thing over and over again and expect a different result, that's the definition. Insanity. We have to change. We have to do what was the big buzzword in, the, in management classes in the early and mid-90s, a paradigm shift. We have to get from here and wind up up here. And obviously there are a lot of logical things that you have to do in between to make it happen. Okay? You have to plan. You have to have a strategy. You have to have tactics. It means all of us are going to do it. 
State Party can't do 